nesters welcome back to nesting haven today i'm sharing with you a goodwill haul this is part two to my goodwill thrifting trip that i just went to so if you guys missed part one i uh, will link it at the end of the video you can go ahead and check that out this one i do have some items i am going to resell but i also am sharing with you some things i picked up for myself so i'll share those first i guess and so the first thing i got was this norman rockwell picture it's in a newer frame and it's likely just a cut out from a calendar or something like that but I like Norman Rockwell and it was funny because I was just talking to my husband that it'd be really cool to do Norman Rockwell in our bathroom and I happened upon this it's a good size for the bathroom right they had a dollar on it I think I got about 20% off I think I got it for 80 cents so definitely a good little find he'll be going in my bathroom they randomly had this journal sitting on the hard goods shelf with the glasses and things like that and I really liked it because I had this dried pressed flower on the inside of it. It was green and it wasn't used so it is a lined notebook and I thought it was really cute. When I saw the plant and that it was an empty notebook I thought this would be a good book to keep my like track my plants. I, I get a lot of plants especially outdoor plants and I just pick them up all the time so after a while like it's hard to remember all these specific names and in particular the different needs of the plants because some like shade some like more water you know some need different nu nutrients in their soils i thought that would be a good thing to try to track that in so i thought that would be a good idea there you guys know that i am green obsessed i like green and blue the most i do like colorful rainbow style colors as well but green and blue are my two main colors i really like purple as well i just don't come across it as much but i found this pillowcase and it's a square one here i liked that it had a zip closure and you could just use this to cover up a you know pillow you don't really find to be that pretty and easily toss this in the wash and it's good to go they only had it priced at two dollars so i probably paid about a dollar i don't know 50 ish for it and i thought that was a great deal this particular goodwill doesn't have a very large book section and they have an even smaller cookbook section i really had a dig to find where they were even located i found a stack that was probably about this big and i only got this one it was priced five dollars which is a little bit high for the thrift store but i really liked it because it is filled with soup recipes soup is my favorite thing to eat so i thought this would be really cool to pick up and with my discount i think i probably only paid about four so not too bad when i walked into the store i made my way over to where the purses were first and checked those out so inevitably I had to go through the clothing section to get up to the hard goods where I usually am doing my picking from. And I did glance at just this one aisle. On the very end, it had a vintage shirt, which I'll show you in a second. But I glanced on my way down and the sweater caught my eye because it's maroon. I like wearing maroon color and it is a nice little sweater. It's from Old Navy and it just has this little peace sign there. I'm not too crazy about the peace sign, but I thought it'd be pretty warm and cozy. It's a little bit sporty, which is more my style I like to wear. So I thought that'd be good for me and it was priced, I think it was priced $6, but I got it half off for three bucks. So that was a good find. I did pick up this mid-century Taylor International piece here. It's out of Asheville, North Carolina. It was priced $4, probably paid around $3.25-ish. And it just is really cool. It has this temperature and humidity meter on it and I'm not sure what this one is barometer or something like that maybe but I like that it had these little mid-century kind of legs <laughs> on the bottom of it as well and we have one of these that is a wall one but I kind of like the way this looked we like to keep it over by our wood stove especially in the winter time to keep track of the humidity and temperature inside so I did get that for us this next item, I am not sure if I'm keeping or selling. I think I'm leaning towards keeping it because I do like to pick up the Gemco stuff, mostly because you can get these in all of the different colors and I like to collect things in rainbow colors. <laughs> so I think it's kind of fun. I have a lot of the choppers in the Gemco with different colors. And so I think I'm just gonna add this to my little Gemco collection. It's a cool little juicer and could definitely come in handy for us. So likely I'm going to keep that. I did find one green glassware piece here, this vintage 
fruit bowl. It is shaped like a strawberry. It has these grapes and is it grapes and leaves. I don't know. It basically just looks like grapes, <laughs> but I think it's really cute. You guys saw the thrift of me. You saw that I also found an amber one that looked just like it, but it had a chip right up in this area. So I didn't pick it up. I would have just got that one to resell as amber glass isn't my favorite color. And so I do collect the green glassware. Was happy to get this to add to my collection. I told myself I wasn't going to look at the coffee mugs anymore because they don't tend to be great sellers unless they are something a little bit more unique usually, but I did pick up a few. <laughs> I think it's just because the store was so overpicked that I just felt like I needed to buy a few things to share with you guys and obviously try to sell because I need to keep my business going, right? So this one set I picked up is definitely worth picking up. They had the set here of Mickey and Minnie, and I've actually picked these up before a couple of years ago, and I sold them in my antique booth, not for very much. These ones were $2 a piece, so I paid $4 for the set, and these sell for really good. Now, there's one currently listed for sale for $49 plus shipping, which is what I'm going to list these as. And then there was a couple of recent solds. One was $55 for the set. And then there was a set of six. These came in a variety of characters. I can't remember what characters there were, but there were six different characters, these two included. And the set sold for over $200 shipped. So it's kind of crazy to think, but I think I'm going to do pretty good on these. I don't know if I'll list them on eBay or Etsy. I think they're old enough to go on Etsy. So I'll see where I end up putting them, but definitely a good score there. I did pick up one beer stein. I thought it was really cool because it was this mini size and then it had this boat here. It is the 75 Carib, or Carib. And I had a viewer mention that they used to run this boat between Portland and Nova Scotia in the 70s and 80s. So that's kind of neat. I think she said that it was still running, but she thinks down in the Caribbean maybe, so. It's kind of cool. This is made in Japan. It was priced $3. I think I can probably get about $16.99 to $18.99 for it. We will see how that does. I thought this was a really nice piece. It's a really heavy stoneware pottery and it has this really beautiful hand-painted strawberry design around the outside of it. It's kind of like that brown top stoneware design. It is a little pitcher. There's a little spout there and it is brown on the inside. It's super heavy, very good quality. And I don't know the maker of it. I, it doesn't have any labeling on it, but it is vintage. It has, I mean, it's obvious it's vintage. So I would guess it's probably from around the 1970s. And yeah, it's very cool. It was marked $3 and I would expect to get about 25. This here, I did not get today. It was still in my truck from the last haul. I had fallen underneath the seat. So it's been recovered. And I think you guys probably remember me looking at this in a thrift along with me, I think two or three back. <laughs> but it was priced six dollars and there's quite a bit of silverware in there. It's filled with Cambridge and there's some Imperial in there. The Imperial ones my grandparents had when I was growing up so I recognize those ones right away. I have not ever sold silverware and I wanted to give it a try because there is good money to be made in it. I come across it quite often for an okay price so I thought I would try the market out on those on eBay. And yeah, I thought for $6 plus the discount, I think I did get 25% off that day. So I paid probably around $4 for the set and I think I can do pretty good. Probably around $75 I'll get for all of them once I break up the sets. I do try to get a Blue Bow Goose item every time I go to the thrift store. Hashtag save the Blue Bow Goose, right? It's cute. Some of you guys have been tagging me on Instagram when you find them in the thrift store. It's really fun to see that you guys are finding them too. This one is actually Gertrude Goose. She's the one that wears the little bonnet, but I do at her end with my Blue Bow Goose stuff. It was marked $3 and I really liked that it was a hand painted ceramic piece and a clock. I thought it was pretty useful. And I think this can file under kind of kitschy. I know it's 1980s, but I think this is kind of kitschy enough where it's a clock that I feel like someone would still enjoy it today. So we will put it in my Etsy store and we'll I'll keep trying to save the Blue Bow Goose. Let's see how it does. I found this set of International Tableware Saucer and Mugs. This is a Japan stoneware set and it's in the Heartland design. 
This sells for okay money, so it's usually decent enough to pick up if you can get a good price on them. I paid a little under six with my discount. I should be able to sell this up between $35 and $45 plus buyer pay shipping, so I think it was definitely worth picking up. Like I said, I made my way back over from the handbags and this shirt was hanging off to the side. It's a vintage shirt, that's what caught my eye, and it is a Nicola. It has some very thin shoulder pads in it and I really liked the paisley design to it. I am interested in trying to resell some vintage clothing and dresses in particular, so I think that's kind of fun. I couldn't really get into the clothing and reselling clothing too much, but anything that's vintage, I kind of just like naturally, so I think I could get behind selling vintage clothing. I figured I would go ahead and give this a try and see how something like this would do. It will be probably going up on eBay. It was priced $6. I also got this for half off at three bucks, so thought that was a pretty good find. I did pick up a couple of bags. This one here is really neat because it's a insulated bag. Usually you can just get those kind of boxy lunch bags that aren't that nice looking, at least for a female. I feel like we kind of just like feel awkward with the size and the way they look. But I thought this was a great alternative for that. It was only priced $3, so I paid about $2.25 for it. And yeah, I just really like the paisley design to it. And I like the idea of being able to carry a nice looking bag with your lunch in it. It'd be great for yard sale season as well. It's always important to bring your lunch and snacks with you. You don't want it to slow you down. <laughs> the other bag I picked up is this really cool one. It had a new tag on it, so it was never used, which is really nice. This is put out by Flying High Footpath. It's a kind of bohemian styled bag. It has this really beautiful kind of cruel embroidery design on it. And there is some, I don't know if it's really bead. It's almost like a mirroring kind of bead. It's not really a bead. I don't know what you would call it. I guess just the mirror. <laughs> but it has this really cool corduroy strap and a little bit of corduroy edging here and a really nice tan colored i guess it's kind of like a canvas bag so this would be considered a messenger bag i believe it does have this velcro closure and there's a zipper there and then it just kind of opens you have this large spot in there so a very nice bag and i like that it was brand new so you can definitely ask a little bit more for it i think i could get about 15 to 20 plus shipping well, that is going to do it for this haul, guys. Let me know below which item I picked up was your favorite. And I'm excited to do some more thrift shopping. You guys know my local one is currently closed, but I'm going to go out of town and do some Goodwill shopping at a few different places. So I'm excited to do that. I'm going tomorrow, so I'm pretty amped up for that. I hope I can find some good stuff to share with you guys. Of course, I will take you along thrifting with me as I do go, and hopefully we can find some good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys come back and go thrifting with me, and we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.